what's going on you guys I was just gonna do a little quick video here to show you that you can calculate a pretty accurate charge with subcooling on these Linux units um, we are running about degrees out here this is in the Sun in the shade it's down about 38 39 but they have an excellent subcooling chart and you can see that you just pick your tonnage of unit then you match it up with your indoor blower we are running a three ton unit with a CBX 27 UH and you see right here on the left the number is for heat on the right it's for cool and look at the difference there heat is 18 degrees and cool is three now you guys know as well as I do that is a hell of a difference as as far as charge goes I mean the difference between 18 and 3 you're talking pounds and pounds of refrigerant either over or under charge so let's say that you're one of those guys that think ah oh, hell it's it's not that important it's not a damn science I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna put it on 10 they all run at 10 well they don't run at 10 that one if you did 10 in the AC mode you're seven degrees off if you did 10 in the heat mode you're eight degrees off and that's literally pounds of refrigerant so I'm gonna show you here even though it is the winter time and you know we we never prefer to adjust the charge in the winter time and I do totally agree with that on most units I, I stick to that wholeheartedly if you're gonna do it you always want to do it on a good hot day but these Linux units are so precise you can see what we're running here so you know we're a hundred and about 325 all right so I'm gonna get my little handy dandy Harbor Freight infrared that you've seen me use in so many videos I freaking love this thing I swear by it and what you want to do is just kind of I'm just raising it and I'm lowering it on the line just going up and down till I find my hot spot all right, so right there, you know, I'm like 84, 85. So if we come back here and look at this, so if you take 85 and go up to 100, there's 15 degrees. Then you got 16, 17, 18, 19. So we're right there at 18, 19 degrees subcooling. And if you remember from our chart, what were we? We were 18 degrees. I always write it real big down here on the bottom, but right here it is again up here. I can get the camera on it. So heat mode up there, 18 degrees. And we're sitting right on the money, guys. That just goes to show you that in the winter time, you really can achieve a very high level of accuracy. And like I said, 43, but over in the shade, we were running in the upper 30s so every now and then you'll come across one of these things where it'll be balls on in the summertime but it'll be a little off in the heating mode and of course I don't get too bent out of shape out of that but you know most of these things are right on the money and that's one thing that I'm really liking about Linux they have been driving us crazy with their indoor coal leaks the outdoor TXVs you know I did a video the other day where I found a leak of the outdoor unit with my ultrasonic link det leak detector I might try to put a link to that down in the description here if you want to check that out too but they they happen in the same place down at the bottom on the TXVs that one just happened to rub the little pigtail rubbed up against the dryer and got that one but Linux has just been killing us with their leaks and we've actually kind of steered away from Linux and now we're doing more Ream and Bosch than anything else. But this is one thing that I really do like about Linux is man, the, their, their charts are very, very nice. They do have a nice wiring diagram. Fault codes are pretty self-explanatory and you do have a really, really nice charging chart on these things. So anyway, I was just going to show you that, that you can be accurate right on the money as far as subcooling goes in the wintertime on these things. All right, if you guys like the video, leave me a thumbs up. 
leave me a comment below if you work on a lot of Linuxes and let me know your thoughts on the good and the bad with Linux if you've experienced the same things we have. And you guys, I will catch you on the next one. See you.